guys so i'm meeting my mentor today um i'm also helping out with an admissions event later so i just wanted to give you a little update so that you knew what i was doing today i hope you stay tuned for the rest of this vlog so i just got home and i had such a good time with my mentor i asked her a ton of questions about rotations and what to expect and like how to best prepare for it she gave me really good advice and we just had a really nice conversation over pho because we were hungry and we also got boba so i got jasmine milk tea with grass jelly i'm not a huge fan of boba so that's why i got the grass jelly and then also i bought candy from cbs i'm a big fan of reese's peanut butter cups and I've heard really good things about these. They're like the Reese's Thin Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. And then this is Dark Chocolate and Peanut Butter, but it's the Miniature Cups. This will be my studying snacks. But I'm glad I met her. It was really helpful. And now I'm going to go home and jump onto the meeting for admissions. Yeah, and if I meet any of you, I think that'd be really funny if I do. Thanks for coming to the event and yeah, hope I helped. So I just finished their event. I feel like a lot of people showed up. It was like 20 something. And a lot of them had questions about like, what's the daily life of the student like and what made us want to go to Hofstra, which is all valid questions. So hopefully if you were at the event and we answered your questions, I'm glad that we did. But if we didn't, you can always like leave them down below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. But it was really nice like hearing from some people and just like talking to them and seeing what their feelings are in, in like first person. So that was a really nice experience. T today, I went to the store and I bought new pants. Yeah, I don't know why I just keep collecting dress pants, but I always need more. So it's not an issue. But these are what the pants look like. They're from Old Navy and they have this tie thing in the front and they're also really really soft so i really like them and they have pockets here good morning guys um yeah so i'm waiting for my car to warm up again tomorrow is our ortho exam so i'm still studying for that there's a lot of like fractures and sprains and things that i have to get sorted out in my head but today's an exciting day because my friends and i are volunteering at the blood drive at our school so we're just going to be helping out the people who are actually working there and um, like handing out cookies juice or just like letting them know where to go in terms of lining up and stuff so i think it's always nice to give back to our school and help out wherever we can and just advocate for the good things in healthcare like blood donations organ donations things like that and then later on today i'm also volunteering to help out with another admissions event i don't think i've ever showed you guys this room but we have a lounge with lockers and a microwave to heat up our food all right so this is the admissions event oh wait no i want to be in i don't you don't have an no admissions you're room. not in it wait i just want to show them because i got I, no. I donated blood today Ta-da! hey guys i just got home and i thought i would show you me taking off my bandage um because my friend took hers off it's kind of like bunched up now because I kept like going like this. My friend told me that she took it off and it started bleeding again because she pulled like the little platelet plug or like the scab basically. She pulled the scab off so it started bleeding again. So I'm a little worried about that. They did tell me to not take it off for six hours but I have to shower so here goes. Oh and this is the finger that they pricked to check my iron levels. This shouldn't be bleeding anymore, but it was bleeding a lot when I first had it done. No blood, which is really surprising because there was, it was bleeding a lot when I initially had it done. And now for the big one, it's on this side. It kind of is still sore. Oh yeah, it's not even bleeding. All right, then that's fine. But there's some blood on the gauze, but I will not show you guys that. But yeah, it's not bleeding and I don't have a bruise. But that's a huge needle. That's a huge hole. <laughs> um, you can't really see it, but that is a huge hole. All right, 
that's it for now. I just wanted to show you guys that because this was the, actually the first time I've ever donated blood, which is really exciting for me because I've always wanted to do it, but I just never got the chance. So if you guys ever get the chance, if you're on campus and like your school is doing something with uh, blood donations, it's such an easy way to help out um, your community. And you never know, like you could be saving someone's life and you didn't even know. So that's all I got to say. And I will talk to you guys later. Hi guys. So I'm just sitting here eating blueberries out of a bowl. I thought I would update you on what's happening so this week is actually a pretty busy week today and tomorrow we have regular classes wednesday i have my neuro practical for a physical exam thursday i have a hospital visit friday i have my neuro medicine exam as well as a presentation so this week is packed full of stuff and we'll see how it goes just got out of the place it, i think it went really well i was a little like flustered at the end because this exam was really long I, we had 45 minutes to do it but the proctor said that i did really well despite what i thought here the proctor said that i did really well and i was really shocked when she said that but i guess sometimes we are our harshest and hardest critics so it makes sense that I like thought I could have done better and I, I could have um, just because I did miss some things but she said that they're so small and like minute that she's not super worried about that um, yeah now I'm going to pick up coffee for my sister and I later I think I'm gonna order poke this is the coffee I got I know it looks huge it is a venti but caffeine is needed so um i got a iced americano honey flat white i think that's what it's called there's a triple shot in here i might regret this later but i'm gonna try to work out so this is kind of like my pre-workout if that makes sense and then i'm also studying for neuro and then preparing for my hospital visit tomorrow i ordered my poke so that should come around like noonish and then I have a meeting later. That's about it for today. So today, the biggest thing was doing the clinical exam, which I got out of the way in the morning. So that's good. And then now I get to study the rest of the day. Good morning, guys. I'm all dressed for my hospital visit today. I'm wearing like a dress shirt with a cardigan and of course slacks, which you can't see, but I'm wearing them. Also, those are the two paintings that my sister and I drew from copying like a Bob Ross painting video. I'm currently heating up a croissant, running just a slight bit late, but it's always important to eat before you go, especially if you're like running around doing a lot of things. So um, I'm having a croissant with some bourgeon cheese, I think that's what it's called. And then my mom boiled an egg, so I'm gonna have that. And then that's my breakfast. Hi guys, so I am currently on campus. I just got back from the hospital, but I got my assignment done, so I'm happy about that. And now I'm gonna be studying with Serena and Ada. Serena, tell the people what you thought about the exam. It gave me a tension headache. Can you explain what a tension headache is? Band-like headache. Where? more along the occipital and the neck region and how can we fix <clears throat> it just bang your head against the wall it'll take the attention off of your tension headache you'll forget all about it repeat as necessary okay <laughs> hey guys i just got home and the presentation it went well but i was so nervous partially because i hate public speaking I also think I have a stress fracture in my foot uh, because every time I step on my right foot or like put all the pressure on it, like all my weight, it hurts and I don't know why. So I have to figure out like, did I do something to my foot? And I feel like I didn't. The only reason why I would have a stress fracture is because I ran the other day and I haven't run in a while. So 
that's the only reason why I could think that I have a stress fracture. But I think my sister ordered sushi and I'm really hungry. So I'm going to go inside and see what she got. But my group gave a presentation on quality assurance and improvement. Essentially, it's like figuring out what's wrong and making a plan to figure out how to fix it. That's the best I can do to explain. I feel like I was up there for, I think, like 10 seconds, but it's obviously longer than that. All right, let's go inside. No, no, no. I would show it here, but she never wants to do that. Got a quick view of her. Mm -hmm. It's raining. It's raining today. What did you get? I can't hear you. I don't know. I don't know. The music is so loud. I got a rose tea latte, but it's not that good. And I got a matcha. Hi, guys. So today is. March 10th, it's five days to my birthday, which is very exciting, but also kind of scary at the same time because that means that I'm turning 22 and I still feel like I'm a kid sometimes. But um, today we had our preventative medicine exam and then I stayed on campus to do some studying and stuff, but I got myself a little gift. So I kind of wanted to just unbox it for you guys and like show you what I got for myself. I was on the Nordstrom site like one morning i really don't know what sparked it i think i was just bored and i was looking at the website and i saw this bag and then i just really wanted it so i clicked purchase ta-da it looks so small it's a long shot book bag i got it in the color called gun metal hi guys good afternoon it is actually 12 56 so yeah it's is almost one o'clock last night was daylight savings time so we had to move the clocks up an hour and i'm crashing like i'm literally doing farm right now and i want to take a nap this week is kind of exciting because it's the week before spring break spring break is always just time for me to catch up on work um there's like a lot of stuff happening after spring break we have a lot of presentations and group projects to do we're also doing a film competition so we have to figure that whole thing out i don't know if i told you guys this but we had to rank our placements for clinicals so we had to like select what our specialties or like what we want to do so i submitted that yesterday because i think it's due this friday and honestly our placements are not set based on just what we want so like we can send what we want but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to get exactly what we had hoped for so i just rank them however i would and then whatever i get is where i will go so i think it's interesting just to see like what people ranked so i'm going to tell you what my rank is i'm going to pull up my portal and everything so in my program we are given the opportunity to round in eight different places and then seven of them are for our core rotations and then the last one is an elective so you get to choose where like what you want to do for that one so this is my ranking i put obgyn slash woman's health first and then pediatric second surgery third internal medicine fourth emergency medicine fifth family medicine sixth and psychiatry seventh and i also put that i have a extreme interest in labor and delivery which you know is kind of scary but at the same time like that's one of the things that i was always super interested about that is what i put for my core settings and then for my electives we also had the opportunity to rank seven different places um the first one is transplant surgery second is infectious disease and then i also ranked interventional radiology um if i don't get the first three i have pediatrics again transplant surgery obgyn for our elective we are also allowed to repeat one of our cores so that's why i put that there and then lastly i put inter interventional radiology and i'm excited to find out what i have but that list won't come out until summer 
I'm so sorry. I had to yawn again. Tomorrow, my class is doing an another potluck. So a lot of people are bringing in food. Tuesday is my birthday. And I think I'm just going to go out for dinner with my family because I have to study for farm, which I have a test on Friday. And the rest of the week is pretty much just classes. So this week is not terrible, but um, this this whole like jumping forward an hour thing is taking a toll on me. I forgot to film yesterday, but it was my birthday and I'm at school now. Serena got me a gift and she spelled my name wrong. Did you write this? You wrote me a note? Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my gosh, you from Korean. <gasps> you brought it all the way from California. Yeah. Is this a sticker? Mm -hmm. oh. Kind of Interesting. <laughs> Wait, did it go? Did I even record? Hey guys, so it's the start of spring break. It's so warm out today. It's like 70 degrees, which is really, really nice weather. And I took my farm exam this morning. And now I have a little surprise. I purchased the new iPad. So I'm gonna go pick that up right now yeah so my ipad is pretty old and i have the i think it's the sixth generation and i've had it for four years already i'm upgrading to the new one that just came out and i got the purple color so i'm really excited about that so i'll show you guys when i get that so i just got home here is the package i don't know if i want to set it up right now because i have to go out in a little bit ada is taking me out for lunch for my birthday i am probably gonna have to like transfer all the material in for my other ipad but that shouldn't take too long especially with how easy it was to transfer over like the information from my old phone to my new phone so i'm excited about that the next step is to get an apple pad pencil so that's what i have to do actually i'm just gonna open it now because i'm still waiting for ada to come but this is my old ipad the other day it was literally crapping out on me i was in the middle of taking notes for medicine and the app just would not work and then i tried to reload it and it just it just wasn't working so it's not too old it's definitely like ran its course i think especially since i've used it for four years but um it still works fine like the battery still holds and stuff like that i think it was kind of a nice way to start my spring break if that makes any, any sense because this is something for school but it's like something exciting for school to go i'm just gonna take off the paper um i did order in case but it didn't come yet it looks gray but it's definitely purple it's like it's purple to the eyeball, but it looks gray on camera. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now until I have time to actually open it. But I'm so excited to use this new iPad. I feel like every time I'm on break, I always have some sort of story about being exposed to COVID. I didn't test positive. In fact, I tested negative this morning, but I came into contact with someone who did test positive. So I took the Binax Abbott one and that's my result. And I don't see a second line. So I'm pretty sure it's a negative. Like, you know, like last time I always like to psych myself out. It's lunchtime right now. So I ordered some poke because it's been a stressful day and now i'm gonna watch some k dramas while i eat i've been doing my um, evidence-based medicine work this morning and then i have to start studying for endocrinology which is our medicine exam next week although this is break there is still so much busy work that we have to do and also catching up on the studying and stuff so that's what i'm doing today and the rest of this week hopefully i don't get covid hey guys so today is friday march 25th and i just finished eating dinner today i went to the 
cafe with Ada and we sat there for about like six hours and we tried to just do a lot of studying for our exams coming up. So I got a package today because retail therapy truly helps the soul, I think. Um, so I guess I just wanted to do like a haul for you guys. I spent a good amount of money at Sephora. All right, so the first thing I got was part of the birthday gift set. I feel like I've been 22 for so long, but it was literally... 10 days ago. I chose the Tatcha one. This is soft cream cleanser. There's also the liquid silk canvas primer. I feel like I've heard of this. I've definitely heard people on YouTube um, use that before. And then there is the Tatcha dewy skin cream. Then I got my sister a Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick by Rare Beauty. Do you want to say hi to my vlog? She chose the color Happy Soul. And then I also got her this one, which is a way hair mask. Happy early birthday. It's just him. It's in his room. Oh. Thanks. Next, I got a, a baby Fenty spray. I will be going to wash the dishes now. So. Hey guys. Um right now i'm trying to film like a script for one of my projects which we are teaching like pre-k and kindergarten kids the importance of nutrition and exercise it's so strange because my voice changes like i literally sound like a kid when i'm talking to these kids also i wanted to show you my neighbor's cherry blossom tree it looks so pretty and it's strange because this coming week i think is supposed to be super cold again it's supposed to get like 30 degrees but it's spring and you would think that you know the weather is getting warmer but it's not so i'm just gonna show you here you go i don't know if you can see it just because of the screen in the way what is it what is this okay so this is britney's um 22nd uh birthday <laughs> gift <laughs> i was gonna say 21st i finally came from north carolina <laughs> what oh look, it's like my favorite thing that you do yeah should i read it now is it really long no it's not like that well i don't think it's that long Okay, I'll read it later. <laughs> it's so long. What? That's like consider like I was gonna add another page to it because I was like, I feel like it's so short. I don't know how to close this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, like, like that. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, yeah, that came with the. It's like a cleaning thing. So it's a birthstone necklace. Oh. So that's your birthstone. What is it? I don't even know. I don't. <laughs> It's like aquamarine or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, does this tell you like things about it? I, I'm i not sure. I didn't open that. So. This is what it looks like. Yes. And I thought the silver would go around better than gold. Because yeah, the gold no, looked I a like little. Silver. Yeah. Gold, gold looked a little tacky in the picture. So I was like. <laughs> first thing. Oh, thanks, Ashley. Of course. Good morning guys. So today is April, I think it's the 4th. Yes. We are in the home stretch here. I'm squinting because the sun's in my eyes. I have like a week and a half left of school and this week I have two exams. Next week I have two exams and then I'm done. Quite literally, I think this week and next week is the most stressful just because our exams are not spaced out as well as I would hope they could be today i have an exam and then friday I have an exam and then next monday I have another exam and the ones that are like consecutive on monday and friday are they're just very very heavily weighed so i'm really really nervous about those two um they are for pharmacology and medicine i'm just trying to do my best i'm trying to make it through these last couple of days of school and then i'll be on break for two weeks and then i start my summer semester so i really can't believe that things are happening so fast like i really feel like i just started pa school yesterday but i've been in school for quite some time now and then after my summer semester we start rotations which is even crazier because 
I don't know what I know. Like, it's very, it's just very daunting. Also this week, we have a lot of stuff to do for class. Like, we have a presentation today. Presentation, I think, like, later this week. I'm also doing a ultrasound session again, but this time it's for DVTs, which is, like, deep vein thrombosis. And then also, we are doing a GU session where uh, we have people come in and we get to do, like, speculum exams, vaginal, um, pelvic exams exams as well as digital rectal exams on them to palpate their prostate and honestly I could never do that as myself as like a patient I think just for people to practice on so I'm truly truly grateful that these people are letting us do like practice on them um, especially because this is our first time we've never done this before you know I really appreciate that they're letting us do that because it is going to help us in the long run when we start going on rotations and we have to do this on our own but yeah so this week is a lot next week is also a lot but i will continue to update you as it goes i'm about to leave school it is 6 40 right now i was studying with my friends i got some of farm done but i still have one more lecture to look over which is for anti-epileptic drugs and that's a huge one i think the powerpoint is like 110 slides so um i'm gonna go home my sister ordered sushi for dinner today so i'm really excited because i honestly was craving it and <laughs> there's people racing in the parking lot that's great i was honestly craving it so i'm so excited that my sister got it because she kind of read my mind so yeah i'm gonna go home now eat do some more studying tomorrow i start late but we're doing this ipe interprofessional something event where we get to like collaborate with pharmacy students um pt students like a whole bunch of other students and we kind of come together and do like a case study together which i think is really exciting and i also have another presentation tomorrow for research so long days ahead we're trucking through Ada. we're doing our ipe event right now and i have to join the zoom is it weird if I stand? No? Okay, so I just finished doing the, what is this even called? Practice history. Yeah, the practice history for the underclassmen. And I just want to preface by saying that she told me she watches my vlogs. Yeah. You have a fan. Yeah, and like. Did she, she ask so, for your autograph? No. She was so cute and like, she did really well. She's probably watching this, so hi. It's nice okay. to meet you. She told me that um, when she initially saw me, because she recognized me, she like got calmer. Cause she was like, oh, I kind of know her from Aww. her videos. It was very fun. It was nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going back to study. Bye-bye. <laughs> I just got home. It is 7.21. Kind of a late day today. Um, I usually get home a little earlier than this, but I was trying to get as much of OBGYN done as I could while I was on campus. I just got home. I am so hungry. My mom prepared dinner for me. It's the best part of living at home. It's just that like you get a home cooked meal every single day. Look at this fish and shrimp. It looks so good. I'm going to devour this and then probably go upstairs and study a little more later. Good morning, guys. So today is, wow, my brain is just really gone. Today is when we're doing like the digital rectal exam, the prostate, and also the pelvic exam for females. So it's going to be a long day. But before that, I also have a DVT ultrasound, which I think is super exciting because I love always doing ultrasound. I think the radiology aspect of it is so cool. Um, so I'm wearing my scrubs today. I'm just waiting for my car to warm up because it is a little cold right now. It's about like 45-ish. So I'm waiting and I'm going to play some music and just jam out while I drive to school. In case you didn't know, this is like my downtime, the time that I take to decompress or prepare myself for the day. So if you guys are ever stressed out, just sit in your car and listen to some music and like, I don't know, have a concert for yourself. It's so it's it's very therapeutic in a sense so just thought i'd give you that little tip oh my god <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> um, no i'm gonna leave that in i won't put you in the video but like you can talk everyone knows who you are you're famous <laughs> you copying? <laughs> we had our farm exam today what did you think Ada? thumbs up in the thumbs middle up. or thumbs down 
Thumbs up. Thumbs up? You must have did really well. No, I'm just pleasantly surprised by my Okay, bye. Time to go study for... Good morning guys, I'm in the sun again. Today is Monday and it's the last like exam that I have to take on the computer, which is exciting because that means that the semester is almost over, but also kind of scary because I don't know how prepared I am for today's exam. So I'm going to campus early so that I can do some last minute cramming, which I don't recommend, but you gotta do what you have to do. That's what's happening today. I have my exam, I have a couple of classes, and then tomorrow I don't have class, but I have to practice for my CSP exam, which is on Wednesday, and then after that, I'm done. And if I pass, then I'm totally done with the uh, spring semester. So I just got home. Um, I'm eating an apple because I am kind of hungry. I'm going to be working on my CSP stuff for my clinical exam on Wednesday. So remember how I said that my school lets us go to this place where we get to practice on like actors and kind of just work up our skills of interviewing patients and doing physical exams. So the CSP is a comprehensive exam where we are given a case and the physical exam that we have to do or the physical exams that we have to do can be from any parts of those individual exams. So it could be AGNT, thorax, abdomen, um, peripheral vascular, neuro, and cardiac i think that's the last one so i'm trying to review all of those things to see like which exams i need to do and then also we have to come up with a an assessment as well as healthcare maintenance for the patient and all of this i think is done within like 30 minutes and it's timed and we have to like write down actual stuff so it's really stressful because i don't remember um a lot so i'm trying to review and then hopefully um, things just come naturally to me. Um, but besides that, the exam today, I think it went better than I expected. It was hard. It was really hard. Um, but somehow my brain pulled through and I passed. Um, the, the exam was on OBGYN stuff, which is a field that I want to go into or I thought I wanted to go into. It's important that like I figure out what I got wrong to see like what the right answer is so that I know that when I go on rotations that I'm looking at the right stuff. Good morning guys. So today is the big day. It's the clinical exam. I put on makeup as you can see. I tried to look the part, but I don't know how well that's gonna go. Why is my neck so red? That's concerning. I'm wearing a blue dress shirt and black slacks. I'll be wearing loafers later, so that's why I'm wearing no-show socks. Um, right now I'm making breakfast or I'm heating up a croissant. Okay, so I just finished my clinical exam. I think I passed. We don't get to know if we passed yet. That's something that I think that they don't like tell us until later on, but I'm pretty sure I passed. So I think I'm done with spring semester. This is actually crazy. I'm going to treat myself by going shopping. Obviously not in my white coat, but I was gonna um, try to look for some jeans because I haven't been able to find a pair that fits me properly and my proctor was really nice he was from the med school i think i met him when we did structure lab one time okay i'm kind of just like standing mid-air the test i obviously i can't talk about the format of it because i know other people are going to be taking this exam in the future and that would just be unfair so i just want to say that it was really nerve-wracking going in, but you've been prepared for this type of exam the entire semester and you know all the material that you need to know in order to pass. So as long as you studied and um, have kept up with the coursework throughout the semester, then I think you should be fine. I also wanted to edit this video and get this up um, as soon as possible. I think that's gonna be the end of this video. It's the end of my second semester, which I think is honestly so crazy that it went by this fast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and guess I'll continue to vlog my journey through PA school. It seems like you guys are really, really enjoying this content, so I'm 
more than happy to put this out there and share my stories with you guys. If you guys have specific questions, definitely leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!